Hi guys, it's Andy from Estella's Revenge, and I thought I would pop in today with an October wrap-up and a November TBR, and I have been under the weather for a couple days. I've had my first cold of the season. Yay! Um, my birthday is coming out next weekend, and it seems like I'm always sick on my birthday every year. <laughs> so yeah, this near this year is no exception, but maybe I'm getting it over with before my birthday. <sighs> so I read seven books in October, and that was kind of surprising because I had a little bit of a reading slump in October. Um, and the way that my books panned out this last month were a little strange. I usually have a pretty even split between physical books and e-reader books that I read, but this past month was almost all e-reader books, which is just really strange. Um, I did finish two physical books, but they've already gone back to the library. Those were Peanut by Ayun Halliday and Will and Wit by Laura Lee Gulledge. And those were both graphic novels that I read for Dewey's 24-hour readathon. Um, the other books that I completed, some of these have a snazzy cover to show you and some of them do not. Um, I already reviewed The Historian by Elizabeth Costova and it was an okay read. It was super long. It was perfectly fitted to November, I'm sorry, to October and the Halloween atmosphere, um, but ultimately I only gave it three stars. For my book club, I read... The Girl You Left Behind by Jojo Moyes. And I don't know if I'm going to do a review of this one. If you would like to see one, definitely let me know. But just to give you a few thoughts on it, um, it is one of those novels that seems to be so popular right now that have two storylines. So we have a historical storyline about a woman who is living in German-occupied France during World War I. And then we have a contemporary storyline about a woman who is struggling now <laughs> um in contemporary london and um I, I really have a hard time with stories like this because i always like the historical characters more than the contemporary ones always um and this novel was no exception but if you are looking for an emotional novel that will really suck you in very quickly this is probably a great slump buster that's what it did for me um i had some problems with the contemporary storyline um but it was nothing that I couldn't overlook. So Jojo Moy's first book, Me Before You, no, sorry, not her first book. Her first book that I read, Me Before You, was really good. I had my reservations about it, but my book group chose it, and then my book group chose this one as well. And I liked both of them a great deal. Um, very, very much emotionally involving. So that's what I need to bust a slump. So that worked perfectly for me. Um, and then I also read Kindred. Wee tiny cover. Uh, Kindred by Octavia Butler. I really enjoyed this science fiction novel about a contemporary black woman who bounces back in time several times to the slaveholding South. I will be doing a full review of it in the next week or so. I buddy read it with Grace Eckmeyer and Dee Dee from Frenchy D. And so you can view my review of her short story, Blood Child, in my previously posted videos. And then this one will be coming up in the next week. They have a lot of similar themes, and so I'm really looking forward to reviewing that one. I also finished, and I don't have a picture of, My Life in France by Julia Child, which is a memoir of her life in France, obviously, leading up to the time that she, well, leading up to and through the time that she wrote Mastering the Art of French Cooking, and it actually goes throughout the end of her life, um, the loss of her husband and things like that. So I absolutely love that book. I gave it five stars, hands down, one of the best memoirs I've read in a really long time, and there was more to admire about Julia Child than I even knew, so I was really, really pleased to have read that. And then I finished off a book that has been sitting unread on my TBR for two and a half years. I, sh I say unread. It's actually been unfinished because I started it two and a half years ago and have picked it up on and off, on and off, on and off throughout the years. And that is Affinity by Sarah Waters. And if you have heard me gush about The Little Stranger, you know that I adore Sarah Waters, so I don't know really what took me so long to read this one. I just had a hard time getting into it, but I remembered the plot because I did pick it up and put it down several times, and I enjoyed it to no end. It had a really beautifully twisted ending. 
Um, I don't know if I'll do a uh, video review about it, but I will definitely link up my blog post because I have already posted one of those. It was my last book for the RIP8 reading challenge. So, yeah, it was great. Definitely want to read more Waters. I own all of her books. It's just a matter of getting around to them and finishing them off. So, for November, I have some definite reading plans in mind, and they include The Slinks by Tatiana Tolstaya, and I have been remiss in mentioning the International Reads book group. Um, this is a book group started by Mercedes. Um, several of us had indicated that we wanted to read more diversely in 2014. I had mentioned it in one of my videos. Rency has done a series of videos about that, and so Mercedes kind of brought us all together um, to start this group. And so it is currently open on Goodreads to the larger BookTube and Goodreads community. Whomever wants to join is more than welcome. We will be reading books in translation. We will be reading books from authors of color. We will be reading a wide variety of nationalities and ethnicities and just trying to kind of push ourselves to experience more outside of, you know, secular kind of U.S., Canada, U.K. literature. And so I know this is something I definitely want to do, so I'm really excited. Um, I've just started this links and don't know yet exactly what I think about it, but I mean, it's got a lot of really fun wordplay in it, and so I'm really enjoying that aspect already. I will be reading The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan, and this is one of the books that I put on my fall TBR. I'm picking by season about 10 books that have been on my shelves for a really long time to try to bust through in a three-month period, and so this one landed on that fall TBR, and I was fortunate that my book group actually chose this for our November book. So that gives me a little extra push, and I will be reading that. Um, two that I am considering this month, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. This is another one from my fall TBR list. I've actually already read half of my fall TBR list, so I have five left to go before December 21st or so, and so I'm considering this one if I'm in the mood for it. And another one off of that list is Never Let Me Go by Katsuo Ishiguro. And this is super short, so I have no doubt that I can blow through this one in no time. And I've actually already read two books in November, which I'm pretty excited about. I finished on Friday. I received and finished this book on Friday. It's The Tiny Book of Tiny Stories, uh, Volume 3, edited by Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Wiro. And I've read all of these, Volumes 1, 2, and 3, and they are just a delight. Um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt has this project through hitrecord.org. And artists and writers submit their texts and their images and they create these beautiful tiny stories. So just a wee bit of text and an image that create kind of a little vignette, and I really enjoy these. And also, this weekend, while I was under the weather, hunkered down with a blanket um, and a hot cup of tea, I was reading I Captured Castle by Dodie Smith, and I loved it just as, every, but just as much as everybody said I would. Um, it took me having to sit down and calm down and stop running around to get into this book. But once I did, I blew through it in like two days. I absolutely loved it. It has the best characters. It has the best character development. And it's just such a charming portrait um, of British life with a lot of comedy thrown in. And I just can't say enough good things about it. So I'll probably do a full review of this book. Um, but just know that if you haven't read it, you need to get on that. <laughs> So that is all from me today. I am off to pick up my son here in a little while, and we are going to just stay indoors because it's a nasty day. So I hope wherever you are that it's much prettier than what it's doing here, and I hope you are having a lot of good reading time. Bye.